What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 trailer that was released, break some of the scenes down for you, and give you possible reasons why Tasha might be hit because Tariq exposed her. If you've been following me, you know usually I don't break trailers down because trailers are cut differently from the main episodes. So, not everything in the trailer will happen in the episodes accordingly. But I'll show you some related scenes and what to expect in this final season and of course if you are new to my channel you are welcome kindly hit the subscribe button like share leave your thoughts in the comment section below now let's get straight into the trailer most definitely the first episode of season four is going to start from where the last season ended now the last season ended with the beginning of war between Tariq and Braden as protagonists and Norma, Ify and the Taharis as the antagonists Tariq and Braden had to run from the scene because of the numbers and how everything panned out. So it's obvious that we will see where Tariq and Braden are going from there and what Norma will do next. Now in the trailer, this scene where Norma says her Tariq problem is solved today is the same scene at the last episode where Tariq managed to run away thanks to Braden. She is taxing the Taharis and Afi to make sure they find Tariq at all costs. This I believe will be the most difficult assignment to the Taharis ever. Now if you look at the trailer, Kane went after Braden's brother Trace and punched him in the face. If what I'm thinking this is, then it means Kane is trying to use Trace to trap Braden or get access to him to surrender, but we all know that this is the dumbest idea for King to try. I also believe the hit from episode 1 alone is going to force some characters to make some silly mistake and these mistakes will possibly lead to bodies dropping. Now, we hear Tariq calling someone for help and we know he has limited trusted allies to call for help. Tariq's first two options are his mother and uncle. Tommy and Tasha will be his only go-to options, but we all know where Tommy stands when it comes to this war. So, there is high chance that Tariq is calling his mother for help. Now, from the trailer, Tariq indeed met with Tasha and from the look of things, Tasha is living a different life at the mall, possibly a shop attendant kind of job before Tariq meets her. Now, this is an example of the little mistakes I talked about. Tariq meeting his mother immediately in this heat alone can potentially expose Tasha to danger. But somehow it's good she's aware her son is at war with the same people he worked with so she can also prepare for any suspicious move by anyone. Now mind you, Tariq doesn't know Monet is still alive yet so that is another situation he will have to deal with. Now the biggest question I want to ask is, will Tasha be able to help Tariq in this war? If yes, then how? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. But for for me, I think Tasha can only help Tariq by staying alive and being careful. But Tasha, as we all know, will probably try the same draft by she did with Monet and if that happens, then I have some fear for Tasha this time around. Then again, I ask, will Tasha survive this war? If you pay close attention to Norma, she wants Tariq and his loved ones gone. Now, in my opinion, if there will be a major death, it could be Tasha. I said this about Sax in the previous season that he wasn't going to make it to the next season and it did happen. So trust me, there is a high possibility that Tasha will be one of the major deaths in this finale. Maybe I am too extreme but when they dropped the trailer, almost every cast posted the snippet on their IG pages. Tasha posted as well and her caption fell as though she was saying goodbye to us already. Yes, I know they said this is the last season so it can make sense that her caption is in relation to the final season. But I do feel she will be one of the major deaths in this season. Probably she might trade her life for her son because from this trailer, everyone seems to be hungry for blood and everyone seems to be expandable. But let me know what you also think in the comments section below. Do you think Tasha is likely to die in this season finale? Let me know what you also think about this. Now, there are other untrusted allies of Tariq, which is 2Beat and Davis. And since Davis is suspended, he'll be switching to the criminal side of the game. Tariq cannot fully rely on 2Beat and Davis since they will always think of their personal interests first. Now, in the trailer, we can see Tariq and Davis meeting up with Norma 
and Kane. Are we likely to see some truce since the feds and Detective Kara are so keen on clamping all the drug dealers? For me, I believe this meetup will be very beautiful to watch. It's either they end the war and face their common enemy, which is the feds, or fight in triangles. But I believe this particular meetup is part of the reason we see Tariq talking to Diana in a room that seemed to be like a hospital, specifically in a Guyanese room. But we all know Diana is one person Tariq will never trust again. So even if there is some truth between them, I don't think trust is part of it. Now, from all indications based on the trailer, Tariq is going into ghost mode. We all know ghosts had good side and bad sides. In the trailer, Tariq was saying he has to use all of them, the good part of him and the bad part of him. Now, this statement is definitely referring to Ghost's persona and it's very evident in the trailer that Tariq is going to move just like the way Ghost would in a similar situation. And I think Tariq has finally realized the reasons and benefits of living with two different personalities just like we see in the case of James St. Patrick and Ghost and 50 Cent and Carries Jackson. Therefore, Tariq can only win this war by applying his father's methods and making sure that he corrects all the mistakes Ghost made in his moves. I also have a feeling Tasha will be the one to give Tariq the idea of going to truth and wait for whoever wants to take him out. Only that this time around, he must be strapped unlike his father who stood there naked. Now, typically, if you cast your mind back, Ghost found himself in the same position where it was him alone against the world. Everyone, including his son and his wife, were after him. And when Ghost was standing at truth, he wasn't armed, to which I believe most of you wish he was at least strapped while he was standing there. Some of you also felt that was Ghost's biggest mistake that night, else the story would have been different by now. Now, if you look closely at the trailer, Terry found himself at truth in the same mood his father was and in a similar situation. But this time, Tariq decided to be strapped while waiting for his enemy to show up at the club. Now, this is one of the mistakes Ghost made that Tariq isn't repeating at all. But here is the interesting part. Who will be the unexpected person to show up at truth? Could it be that in as much as Tariq is suspecting either Norma or any of the Taharis to show up at truth with the aim of killing him, we will rather see the unexpected person to be Ghost showing up? I know it's going to get controversial at this point. Drop your thoughts about this in the comment section on who you think can be bold enough to show up a truth behind Tariq. Now let's talk 2 beats and Tariq's car. Now that Tariq needs alliance for this war, do you think he smoked 2 beat just to get his car back? I saw some comments like that but I'm wondering why Tariq would decide to kill 2 beats now under these circumstances just to get his car back. Because he might as well leave 2 beat to be driving it for the Taharis to kill him for mistaking identity. But just let me know what you also think about this in the comment section. Do you think Tariq smoked 2 beats? For what reason? For me, I don't think Tariq smoked 2 beat. I feel Tariq rather paid 2 beat off for his car. If you look closely in the trailer, this particular scene, you see Tariq embracing with someone with cash and dice on the table. Now, take notice of what they are wearing in this scene. If you look at this other scene, where Tariq and Braden are with the car, they are wearing the same dresses. This suggests that Tariq paid off 2 beats what he owes him and 2 beats handed over the car to Tariq. So for me, I don't believe Tariq smoked 2 beats. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Just drop your thought theories in the comment section about Tariq and 2 beats. Let's discuss. Now, generally, based on the scenes in the trailer, Tariq is cleaning up. He is keeping his friends close and his enemies closer. Tariq has a lot of people betraying him throughout his journey and it's time for him to revenge and clean up well without any loose ends. One of these painful betrayals comes from Diana. Now, we see Tariq speaking to Diana as if they have squashed their issues and we see Tariq telling Diana about what his father was trying to prevent from day one. This move, I believe Tariq is playing Diana emotionally for her to feel like he trusted her again. Now, why do I say Tariq is cleaning house? The way Detective Kara is closing on him, he needs to make sure that there isn't anyone somewhere that the feds can use as a witness against him. Therefore, I believe he's starting with Diana and Salim. We all know that Salim has some information about both Diana and Tariq. This also means that he can be a potential witness against the two of them 
or Tariq Elum. So somehow, I believe Diana was convinced about Tariq's alliance with her and pointed out to him that they need to take care of Salim before he becomes a witness against them since he was their TA. And as we can see in this scene, Tariq is roughing Salim and one thing I noticed about Tariq is that he is wearing gloves, which also suggests that Salim will be gone. Now finally, let's do some possible predictions. If I have to predict people who would die in this finale, I will say Tasha, Drew, Diana, Norma, Salim. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Drop your comments, theories, and everything you suspect or your suspicions in the comment section below. Let's discuss. Also, if you want me to touch on any topic relating to the trailer or season 4, drop it in the comment section. Once it gets the most like, I'll definitely touch on that for you in my next video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Most importantly, share, like, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.